All right, y'all, we're about to get your closet a whole lot more fabulous. If you want to incorporate those sexy little details we see celebrities wearing, but you just don't know where to start, well, you're in luck because we've got the Dean of Fashion helping us today. Please welcome Dr. Courtney A. Hammonds. Oh, hi, Dr. Hey, my friend, how are you? I'm good. We, I, I don't, when I see you, I just want to go, ooh! Oh, I'm so excited goodness. to see you. It's a new year and it's all things fashion, right? It is. And you're here to set us straight or just give us a little help. Maybe I should, maybe we should be more positive. Just We're a just, little you judge. Just, you're it's just okay. us a little judge. <laughs> okay, I love this. All right, let's start fashion and style. How do you see like personal stylists influencing red carpet looks. We're in award season. Uh, we're in yes. award season, and can you believe it? Three award shows in the last eight days. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Well, what I love about personal stylists, mm -hmm. um, they really have this grandeur, yeah. right? To, yeah. to really highlight the individuality and yes. the flair, yes. right? But at the end of the day, it's all about the personal style of the celebrity and of the person in general. Yes. And I love that. I love that too. And then it's finding like who you, whom you identify with, like, yeah, oh, who's your I muse? Could, yeah, oh. I could wear that or I could do that. <laughs> do you have a certain celebrity that you're always like, I cannot wait to see what they wear? Oh my goodness, there are so many. Yeah, sorry, I, that was a, not on the script, but I just no, curious it's okay. Who you like. There okay. are so many standout moments. I'm gonna kind of say that to the end because okay. I think I got some some wonderful moments that's gonna happen for us. Okay, I love you that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about key trends, style okay. inspirations from the award season. Do you, anything you're seeing that's popping to you? Yes, actually, I'm wearing two today. Okay. So intricate embroidery, you're going to see that. So I'm wearing this amazing jacket and I saw a lot of that on the runways and just even runways that translated to the red carpets as well. Yeah. Accessory pieces that really stand out and that are moments and oh, I'm wearing one today, are. right? That's um, shout out to Studio Anastasia. Ah. And all things elegance, going back to wonderful silhouettes. So right. we have a lot of leathers coming out as well. Wonderful silhouettes and all things old glamour and I love the grandeur of Ooh, it all. I I do too. I've had the pleasure of sitting next to you twice on this sofa, and each time you wear something that is a conversational piece. Like oh, it's a piece you. of art. It's something to talk about, and I just I love that. Thank you. Um, that we get that with you. Okay, are there specific fashion moments or celebrities from recent award oh, ceremonies yes. that stand out to you, doctors? Examples of that fusion that you were talking about mm -hmm. between personal style and red carpet glamour. Oh my God, there were so many okay. moments, and I think the first one for me was really Timothy. Okay. And what I love about him, as you see here on the screen, what I love about this is that he's giving us a non-traditional tuxedo, mm. but with his own flair. Right. He's young, he's vibrant, he's fresh, he's in the now. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with a little razzle-dazzle no. on the red carpet and doing it in a sophisticated way in all black. I love, too, that you said sophisticated way and the tailoring. Somebody I always love is Lenny Kravitz, and he wore that jumpsuit. With Pause the moment. <gasps> Pause moment. Yes. My favorite. So, oh, really? I so good. I just, I oh, could not stop looking at him. So, I know. Uh, okay, all right, okay. okay. Let's go okay. to uh, <laughs> Tyler James Williams. Let's talk about his Tyler look. James Williams yes. is one of the standout stars. Oh, Abbott so Elementary. Mm, love it. There is no comic here because, as you know, Abbott, <laughs> Abbott Elementary is all about comedy. But what I love about Tyler is that he really infuses his own individuality when it comes to a strong silhouette and a suit that mm. is non conventional. But he makes it his own. And what I really want people to realize in the Atlanta uh -huh. sphere of uh -huh. influence is that don't be scared to wear things because at the no. end of the day, when you do it and you do it boldly and mm -hmm. you do it correctly, correctly meaning under your own yeah. mantra, uh, yeah. other people now are gravitating to you because what happens is we only have five seconds to make a first impression. Sure. And he does that and he does he it well. He does that. One of the, that's one of my favorite things about living here in Atlanta is that people dress and yeah. I love it. If I can't be a part of it, I love <laughs> to look at y'all who do it so well. Okay, <laughs> Meryl Streep, let's talk about her. Listen, mm. 33 nominations under her belt, and I love Meryl Streep Ugh. because at the end of the day, she comes with a whole nother grandeur because she gives us the elegance, she gives us style, mm. and she also gives us the now moment. And this is a wonderful silhouette, and she's gonna give you all things glamour, and she's yes. gonna give that edge to with a wonderful sunglass. She does, oh, you love a sunglass. I do. And she is yeah. like grandeur epitomized. Yeah. Yeah, really, which yeah, I know you love. Yes, <laughs> which I know you love. Okay, this next woman that you gave us this picture of, I love her so much. Ao, right? Oh, I mean, she. Ayo, uh, listen. Oh. When I tell you. 
every red carpet, she is killing it. Yes. She's the new fashion it girl, in my opinion. I love this suit here because menswear is making a resurgence mm -hmm. for men, of course, and for women. Yes. And for people, however they identify themselves. What I love about this is that, to me, she's giving me a modern day woman version mm. of a Beatles. Yeah, <laughs> But sure. she's doing it in a Chris White suit, and I think every man and woman needs a black and a white suit. Yes, ooh, okay, good tip. You heard it here, black and white suit, I love that. All right, let's get, I don't wanna forget Selena. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, Thoughts. love Selena. Yes. What I love about this, because it's fresh, it's mm. something airy, and it's still risky. And what I love about the red carpet, and it can translate into your personal wardrobe as well, is that it's okay to be edgy, it's yeah. gonna be daring, but are you making that statement, and it, and it actually translate to your own personality. Yes, I love that. that is such good advice, I think, because when you look good, you feel good. Oh my God, right? and you are good. Yeah, <laughs> and you are good. If you say it, you are, that's how we feel. One little piece of advice, we have like 20 seconds left that you would give to people watching to kind of embrace their own style. Okay, to embrace your own style, yeah. in a nutshell, what I love is don't try to emulate anyone else, right? Yes. You yeah. always need those silhouette pieces in your closet, a crisp white shirt, a black suit, uh. blue jeans can take you from day to night, desk to dinner, and right. I always love that. Ooh, I love that, and I love you, and thank you for being love here you, and dear. inspiring our viewers. For more trends and looks, you can follow him right here, Dr. Courtney A. Hammond, and it's at I am D R C A H. That's Courtney A. Hammond is what that stands for. Thank, thank you, my you. friend. Thank you. All right, well, still ahead, I have a giveaway.